But it does just seem like something could come pouncing out at you. Is there such thing as wild chickens? Hi everyone and welcome to Venture to Rome. On this trip, Kate and I are taking in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, so it should be a lot of fun. Plus, no kids on this trip, so it's like we're totally free. So come along with us and we'll share our trip with you. This was not our typical overlanding adventure because we started in Walla Walla, Washington wine tasting. It was our 18th wedding anniversary and we really tried to thread the needle between staying COVID safe and finding a special way to celebrate our anniversary. Now we only drank outside, uh, which was tough because it was 107 degrees the day that we went wine tasting. So we welcomed going inside for dinner, had a great time enjoying each other's company and remembering what it was like to actually go out to a restaurant before we got ready and hit the road. The next day we had planned a route up into the Oregon Blue Mountains to look for some fun places to camp and, and some adventure. And we hit the dirt roads and what we found was just some really beautiful farmland and we slowly worked our way up from about a thousand feet to six thousand feet climbing up into those mountains and we really enjoyed watching that scenery change and looking for a fantastic place to camp. Look at this incredible ridge behind me. It is an A campsite. This place is incredible. We are miles and miles and miles from anyone, except we saw some people on horseback. How cool is that? So we're out here uh, setting up camp and we look over and we see two, two ladies on horseback and they're doing this uh, like geocaching. So they were trying to find a spot to um, drop um, items. So it was neat to see them, um, but we're also glad they're gone because now it's there and there's really nobody around and we can enjoy ourselves. So anyway, so we're really excited to be here and uh, it's, it's, it's a new experience for us to be camping without kids. And we have this spot that is, it is an A spot, but it is not a kid spot. It's up on a ledge. And if we had kids, I would, I would be a little nervous about it. But with Kate and I, we get to just enjoy this view, enjoy being up here, enjoy um, having dinner together. And uh, it's gonna be a great night. Uh, it's the next morning. We had a, uh, just a great night last night. We had a sunset last night that rivaled like Hawaiian sunsets. It was so amazing to watch the sun go down. And as we're sitting here in the mountains, we could see both Mount Hood and Ma Mount Rainier get lit up by the sunset, which is just so neat to see. We weren't expecting to see that, so that was really great. Uh, today, we're headed to um, Oregon. We're gonna go check out the Wallawas and try to find something uh, with a campsite with a view of the Wallawas. Like as hard as it is to give up this amazing site with this incredible view, uh, we're gonna go find something better. That's what it's all about. So we're gonna we're gonna get in the Jeep and uh, and go search for the next spot. So we had a little problem with Finn today while we were leaving. This is what happens when things go wrong. And so we were just stopping to air back up. And uh, I did this kind of custom install of my air compressor on Finn here. And I have a uh, ARV quick release uh, connector where I can plug the air hose in. There were some weeks where it was just sitting out on my bumper, totally exposed. 
water and dirt and dust got in it, and it stopped wanting to actually work. I knew this was a problem, and so I bought a new ARV Quick Connect before we left. I threw it in the Jeep. I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw that in because that thing's been giving me some issues just in case. Well, it went to put, and I put the new one on. It, it, is, it is a different size, though, which drives me nuts. Uh, I, so I need to drill a bigger hole in my bumper to make the new one fit, even though it's the same brand and everything. But we used some zip ties <laughs> to keep everything together, and everything's working just fine. But it's one of those moments where you go, oh crap, what do we do now? And we just improvised. Kate and I came into the small town of Joseph, Oregon, which sits right at the base of the Wallawa Mountains. This is such a beautiful little town. It's got all these shops on Main Street, little restaurants. It's even got a distillery there, which I'm, of course, very interested in. It was great to come in, resupply, have lunch, and then get back out on the road and find that spot. So right now we are in the middle of the Hell's Canyon wilderness. We are just past the Hell's Canyon lookout. We uh, desperately wanted to find another campsite with a view and we were really looking for those Seven Devil Mountains. And so we knew, because we'd been to the lookout out here before, that we might have a chance of getting a campsite on the ridge with a view of those mountains. And we found it. It's a bit chilly, a teeny bit windy, but uh, well worth it. cooking for dinner. So tonight we are going to have beer battered fish tacos. This is a new one. I have not made this recipe before. We've done uh, fish tacos before but never beer battered. So we're going to be frying some stuff up. I've got a tres arroyos Mexican lager to make the fish tacos in and uh, we'll see how it goes. Turns out those fish tacos were amazing. Thank you to Oakland X for the recipe. And the rest of the night was, well, what can I say? Well, this has been a really fun trip with just Kate and myself. It's been a little bit different because it's just adults, which is fantastic. We love our kids, but it was also fun to get away. So if you liked this video, please give it a like, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.